Okay, so back to my transphobic story. So um, these two guys are black. Say upon them having a conversation with a third black man, he says that he's dating a transgender woman. I bring up, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm taking this class this semester um, that focuses on LGBT people and maybe you should sit in it. I've been around these people twice since they've had this initial conversation of them finding out about this dude dating trans women and I was just like okay well what are your reservations I'm like oh uh, I would never date a man even if it looked like a woman and I'm just like sometimes you don't even know the other part of it because I've had this conversation another time with a young black woman and she was ugly and she up there talking about oh I wouldn't want to go to the bathroom with somebody who looked like a man and this chick looks like a man and so I mean we I think everybody has you know questions about people that they don't interact with a lot that they want to ask but i guess the situation like really just kind of escalated when it was like you know you don't even know if you've ever actually had sex with a trans woman already who was post op it's just not the appropriate time to be making threats towards people especially when the trans community is so threatened there have been so many people murdered for being trans you can't call out white fragility and then be up there um tiptoeing around the fact that you have um, your masculinity on cotton balls. One thing to be new to a situation and kind of be nervous about it and anxious about talking about it and so you kind of laugh but we were at the point where this had been like a consistent clearly they're interested in having a conversation about LGBT culture they just want to have it in a disrespectful manner and as black people I don't feel as if white people should be able to have a conversation having a conversation about race and white people consistently refer to us as colored or negro or niggas then we would have a problem with that so why is it any different when we're talking about lgbt people a white person to go into their house and challenge their parents who are racist about racism but you don't want to challenge heterosexism in the black community what do we look like saying okay well you're black but are you all the way black are you christian are you straight like what? It seem like I'm at home, but I know it's gonna seem like I'm making a big deal out of this, but black people do not want freedom if they are not fighting for other people's freedom. They want the power to be able to treat people like white, cis, Christian men treat everybody else. One time we allow somebody to discriminate against another group that we're not represented by, we are essentially saying okay to racism too. There are plenty of isms out here. It's not just that one. You have to be cognizant of all of them to make a difference.